seafoam used as an engine flush. I can't wait for you guys to see the results. Hey y'all, I'm Nate with Nate's Interactive Auto. Today we're going to show you how to use seafoam motor treatment to flush your engine. So, let's dive right in. Okay guys, seafoam says it keeps your engine running clean by removing harmful deposits and residues to help oil flow. So will this help increase oil pressure and will it clean the inside of the engine? How to use it? How to use seafoam in your crankcase? It says to add to the crankcase oil one ounce for each quart of oil. So in my case that would be three and a half ounces. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and break the seal. Lift our oil cap up and let's go ahead and add our three ounces. Now we're going to drive with this in our engine for the next 3,000 miles. Then we're going to come back and flush it. Okay guys, let's go ahead and see what this looks like before adding the sea foam. Okay guys, take a look at this engine. The head is absolutely filthy. Can sea foam motor treatment actually work to save this engine from all this gunk and buildup? And is flushing this engine going to hurt it? Well, we're going to find out. It definitely has a lot of gunk and buildup all over it. As you can look, look at these rocker arms. Look all around here. You can tell this has been going on for a while. It's been contaminated. Okay guys, you can see the oil pressure before using sea foam. We're at about 62 PSI's. So, let's see if sea foam can help out this oil pressure. Hey guys, it's 3,000 miles later and I'm going to go ahead and get this oil changed. Okay, there's our drain plug. Now let's break this guy loose. Oh, better push our drain pan underneath to catch our oil. Okay guys, after 3,000 miles, it's time to go ahead and add our fresh oil. See how this looks. I'm very curious to see if it helped the oil pressure. And I can't wait just to see how well it cleaned the engine. If it done anything at all, or did it cause some problems. Also guys, make sure to start your engine, drive for say another 100 miles or so, maybe a little bit more with your fresh oil, and that'll help it continue to clean a little bit better. Okay guys, let's go ahead and take off the valve cover. Also the air cleaner and anything that would be in our way from us getting a great view. I'm so excited guys, let's check it out. Wow, absolutely amazing. Look at this. Wow guys, can you believe these aftershots? Man, this head looks great. Look at these rocker arms. The entire engine looks a lot better. If you look all around, it's much cleaner. Yeah, I changed the oil, but one oil change alone will not be enough. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So if you'll take a look at that spot before on the rocker arm that I showed you before, it's removed a lot of the buildup. If you'll move right along the lines here, look around. It's really done a great job. Okay guys, did seafoam help the oil pressure? Well, the results are in and you can see for yourself. We're at 75 PSI's of oil pressure. So, you saw the before, now you're looking at the after. So guys, seafoam motor treatment. You think it performs well? Have you ever used it in the fuel injection system as a fuel cleaner? And what were your results? Tell me ways that you've tried this product. 
And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. You guys get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video.